Welcome students to chemistry concept and now let's discuss hybridization of PCl5. Okay, in order to find out the hybridization of PCl5, the first thing which we need to do is to write down its electronic configuration. In the valence shell electronic configuration of phosphorus is 3s2, okay, 2 electrons in 3s orbital, 3p3, uh, that is 3 electrons in 3p orbital and 3d0 no electron in 3d orbital fine now if uh, phosphorus wants to form 5 bond with 5 chlorine atoms there must be 5 unpaired electrons but actually there are only 3 unpaired electrons so PCl5 cannot be formed so in order to form PCl5 hybridization takes place that means these 3s orbitals 3p orbitals and 3d orbitals come together and they overlap to form a new set of orbitals which would be all of same energy and the electrons are redistributed that is called phosphorus in excited state what happens in that there is 3s orbital 3 3p orbitals and then there are 3d orbitals these all orbitals overlap they become of similar energy and now the electrons are redistributed we have total of five electrons and then the distribution is like this one two three four five okay one electron each as per uh, uh, rule of maximum multiplicity that means if the orbitals are of similar energy then the pairing will start only after uh, or each of them is singly occupied so because now these orbitals overlap to become of similar energy uh, first they'll all get singly occupied and then only if possible uh, the, the pairing will take place so so as per the new distribution of electron now there are five unpaired electrons with which five chlorine atoms will easily form five bonds because as per our valence bond theory an atom having unpaired electrons form bond with another atom having unpaired electrons so if an atom want to form five bonds it must have five unpaired electrons Okay, and this is this intermixing in order to generate all the desired unpaired electrons is called hybridization. And in this hybridization, one s orbital, three p orbital, and one d orbital took part in. Uh, so the hybridization is sp three d. And with sp three d, the geometry. Uh, uh, the geometry possible is trigonal bipyramidal that means there would be phosphorus in the center three chlorines at the corners of a triangular triangle one above the plane another below the plane plane so total they are the, the structure is trigonal bipyramidal like this And there are two different bond angles one is of 90 another is of 120 i hope these things were clear to you and stay tuned for more videos of organic and organic and physical chemistry and don't go forget to subscribe